When a landowner does a timber harvest or considers a timber harvest, there are really two key roles. One is the forester, and the forester's unique role is determining how to manage that woods and looking at how a harvest would contribute to the landowner's goals. A logger's role is more to get the trees harvested, loaded on a truck into the mill, and they're both critical roles. When a landowner calls me and they're interested in managing their woodlands for anything, the first thing that I do is I set up a field visit with them, or we set up a field visit and we talk about their objectives. And then my job is to help them manage their woods to reach those objectives. And depending on how the property was acquired, a lot of these woods are in different stands. Maybe they were high graded, maybe it's a clear cut. We have to take what they have there and then figure out the best ways to make it reach their landowner objectives. By visiting other properties through tree farm events and other educational events, I knew I wanted to use a consulting forester. The first thing we did was he sat down with me and said, what are your goals for the property? In a forest management plan, we would, we would get the objectives and then we would go look at the stand. And when you walk into a woods, when you start to look around, you realize that different parts of the woods may be growing different species. The trees may be different sizes we break the woods up into different stands and manage each stand as a unit. So, you know, maybe stand one needs grapevine control, maybe stand two needs call trees or crop tree release, and lay that out over 10 years and address the most needed thing first and just kind of work through the plan over that time. And that allows the woods time to kind of change and move through the plan as well. And it also is not as overwhelming for the landowner to try to do everything at once. He and I walked the land and individually picked each tree that I wanted to have harvested. And we would discuss the pros and cons. He brought a lot of value to the table. It, it was a very, very good experience. We, we both were listening to each other to make the decisions of what trees to go. I wanted it done to see what, what would happen, open it up a little bit. and. Uh, I picked one of the local woodcutters, and um, I can't say I'm happy or disappointed, it's just that's what is, but uh, I don't have anything up there that's, that's uh, marketable anymore, and I'm a little unhappy because they scraped a lot of the trees. Whenever you have a timber harvest, it's good to have a, a good solid contract. And it really should represent your interests and needs and not be generated by the person that's buying the wood. It should be generated by you or the representative of the forester that's helping you. But to make sure that your concerns are taken into account. Unplanned things can happen, so it's good to make sure that those are considered in the, in the contract and what would happen if, for instance, um, trees that weren't marked to be sold were damaged or, or harvested. In this state, there's really no law that says you have to have anything to call yourself a forester. Uh, a forester should have a degree in forestry, um, so it's important to, to do the homework and make sure the person that's representing themselves as a forester has those qualifications. Call Before You Cut's a program that's we're really proud of in Ohio because it started in Athens County. And essentially what it is, is a one-stop shop. It's a place where you can go to find information about where can I find a forester? Where can I find loggers? Um, how can I find out about BMPs? And so it's just a place that people can go online to find out about those resources.